Ladies and more ladies, this is the Late Trill with Samantha B. Please welcome your host, Samantha B. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Late Trill with Samantha B. Oh, yes. Give it up for our house band, Granny and the Bees, and the man who puts the ick in sidekick, Jason Jones, Mr. Double J. Oh, thank you. Oh. What's in the news, huh, folks? What's in the news? Did you see this? Have no. you read this? Have you heard about this? News. Okay. Harry and Meghan Markle's newborn continues to spread royal baby fever across England. Not to be confused with regular baby fever, just spreading across the U.S. and unvaccinated children. <laughs> going, going, going. Oh. Measles really taking the world by storm. Police in Florida. Have you heard of Florida? No. Yeah. Looking for a man who stole hot dogs from a Little League concession stand while naked. Police say they're gonna find the hot dog thief, but they don't relish it. That's a spicy wiener. Relish, relish. (laughs) Is this how you do late night show? We got a great show for you tonight. Coming up, I play beer pong with the Pope and we hold a gun to Matthew McConaughey while he tries to spell his own name. But first, I sit down with Tammy Duckworth. Please welcome my first guest, Iraq War veteran, U.S. Senator and Human Vision Board, Senator Tammy Duckworth. Thank you for coming to the show. Good to be here. Okay, I have a list of firsts. I'm just going to read them off mm-hmm. to you. You were the first Thai American woman mm-hmm. ever elected to Congress, the first senator to give birth while in office. Men have been having babies in office for years. Okay. Some of them they claimed even. <laughs> <laughs> but I am the first to give birth, yes. The first one with a disability in Congress. Yes. Now you're the first guest on the first female late night show within a female late night show. Fabulous. Fabulous. We are living in a man's world, somewhat. Mm -hmm. But there are more women in the military than ever before. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the important stuff. Has the fashion gotten any better? Well, um, a little bit more effective now than when Uh I was serving. In the 90s, the flight suit that we wore was a single-piece jumpsuit, but the zipper didn't go down far enough. So the guys could pee, but I couldn't. To go to the bathroom, I had to take off my body armor in the middle of a combat zone. Right. The guys could just use a Gatorade bottle in the aircraft. Is that why they call it a cockpit? Rim job. (gasps) Not now, Jason. So on a very basic level, the equipment itself Mm -hmm. is geared for a man's body. Yeah. Now it is a two-piece flight suit, so things are changing, Uh but there's just a lot of these issues. Body armor is another one. The smallest size body armor when I first got to Iraq was too big for a regular sized woman. So that when the enemy is shooting at you, a bullet can actually go in between the body armor and your collarbone. If you wear the wrong size body armor, the hazard is dead. The Army is fixing this. Yes. Please there, say yes, yeah. because you know, I the, need... The, the, okay. We are writing legislation into the defense budgets, require them to do studies and develop equipment for female service women. So a lot of that has been fixed, but we still have to do more. Do you meet resistance, or do you meet old white men who are just basically like, I don't want to talk about these gross bodies. Let's just do it. It's actually not necessarily age-related. It's just guys who don't want women sure. serving in combat. Which is why we need more women in leadership so that we can bring up these issues. I talk to a lot of female veterans and they face challenges Mm -hmm. when they seek health care at the VA. Where do you identify the gaps in care and service? Well, the fertility. Infertility rates are very high among female veterans. Why? We don't know. But we need a study to figure out what's going on. When was the last time that a comprehensive study of women's health issues in the military was conducted? I think I was in high school. (laughs) <laughs> so, like, since Paula Abdul, straight up now tell me, <laughs> was at the top of the chart. <laughs> Granny gets it. But now infertility is a health issue with female veterans. The VA has weird rules that are very arcane, and they will not pay for a lot of things. They provide IVF only if you're a married, heterosexual couple, and all of this. And I think that's just unfair. What are the list of requirements for boner pills? <laughs> it's just like... Dick broke in. <laughs> Need I, my dick. I don't know. <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about everybody's favorite late night topic. Sexual assault in the military. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, Very recently, the Department of Defense issued a report showing a 38% increase mm-hmm. in the number of sexual assaults. Yes. 
That is crazy. Mm -hmm. What accounts for those numbers? I had thought that perhaps it was sort of a backwards good news story and that maybe it's just because women in military now better understand that they were victims of assault. There's more awareness. Right. But no, we sat down with the DOD and the doctor that actually conducted the study and she said, no, it's actually an actual uptick. So for me, it shows that with everything the military is trying to do, they're uh -huh. still falling short. What can we do? What are we going to do? Take the investigations and prosecutions of military assaults out from under the chain of command. You have so much work to do, <laughs> Senator Duckworth. Well, it's not just me, it's, it's, you know, all of us. And look, these are men and women who volunteer to serve and protect and defend us. The least we can do is to serve them by making sure we fix this. Have you thought about cloning yourself? Because we really need more Tammy Duckworths. So let's get more women elected. Oh, you're really <laughs> speaking my language. <laughs> can you stop with the- so Quack, 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 duck. That's a chicken. That's all I could find. Senator Tammy Duckworth, thank you so much for being on the show. Please stick around for my morning show, The Morning After Shrill with Samantha B. Bring your boxed wine. It starts at 3 a.m. Good night, everybody.